The type of home ownership you have, currently renter or owner? We are renting. Okay, and the type of structure is a single family detached multi-unit townhome, condo, apartment? Single. Okay. It's a trailer. Okay, and then the date approximately you moved in? July 1 of 2018. Okay, have you always lived in Blakely? Uh, sure have. <laughs> and tell me how your family ended up here in Blakely. I have no idea because my family has been in Blakely County for years and years and years. So we got several generations, correct? Several generations. So could you tell me about the kind of home you live in currently, like the structure and whatnot? Sure, so I live in a double wide um, trailer, mobile home. Okay. I'm not sure when it was manufactured, but it's vinyl on the outside. And vinyl? Mm -hmm. All vinyl? Mm-hmm. Okay. And how many bedrooms? It has three bedrooms and an office. Um, okay. And then how many baths? Two. And the square footage? I have no idea. Okay. Um... About 18, 16? Probably 18 because I added on to the back of it. Okay, 18 square foot. Okay. And then what type of roof is it? Shingles. Okay. And then have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, or as part of the business, as part of a program through your utility company? We have not. Okay. Um, tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make the decision or was it made for you? Um, well, we just never really thought about it. And us renting right now, it's not really our place. Okay. Well, our decision. Okay. And then if you had the option, would you put a rooftop solar on your home? If I weighed the options with my husband <laughs> and we would benefit, then I, I would, I'm not opposed to it. Okay. And what do you mean by if you could benefit from it? Can you elaborate a little bit? As long as, or if I could see in the future how it would save money. Okay. And I would just need to know all the aspects of it before I could agree to it. So you would need just some more information about mm -hmm. it and how it works? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. And then, if you could, I'm going to give you a map of the United States. And I would like you to check off. That is behind that one. I would like you to check off there where you think there is rooftop solars on in those states. You can put an X, a star, or a check by those states where you think they have rooftop solars on their homes. Mm, just as much as I know. Yeah, just as much, or anything you can think of, or where you might think it's just at. Just check? Yeah, on the state itself, uh-huh. Okay, I think I've seen them here. And even if you haven't seen them, you can just check and just, you know, it's just a guess. It doesn't have no right or wrong answers. Uh, okay, this is just a guesstimate. Hey, it's all right. There's no right or wrong answers. We're not judging. <laughs> all right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> so you have Nevada, California, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, Wyoming, Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee. I would think all those on the west. In the side, Rhode uh, Island and Connecticut. Okay, so why do you think these states have their rooftop solar? I don't know. I just feel like all the ones in the west. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just... I feel like I've seen them in California, but I may be wrong. Okay. It just, why would you think they have them there, though? What would be the reasoning they have them on their roof? Because it's always top. sunny there. It never rains. Good weather. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes, good weather. Anything else you could think it, of? It just seems like they're more advanced in, mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say technology, but more advanced in, I guess you would say technology. They yeah. seem like they are, especially California. Right. Okay. And then, why do you think that can, um, people here in Blakely don't have as much as those states? Well, we, our seasons are so mm -hmm. crazy, and I think people just aren't educated on it. 
they're not educated and are and sometimes the weather. And they're not as willing to change as people in other. Okay. Work more, especially in Middle Georgia around here. It seems like people aren't or don't adapt to change very well, or they're not willing to try new things. Right. Okay, and that makes sense. So the second one I have is the state of Georgia. Now check the counties you think would have rooftop solar, and it's not like I say you if you've seen it great, but if you have it, just check on you know which ones you think that would have it, which county would have it. Okay. You got your counties. Yeah. All right. That last thing. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. That's right. Let's see. So we have a all northern Atlanta area, mm -hmm. and then you check some Houston County. We have Twigs. Mm -hmm. We got Lawrence, Blakely, and it looks like is that Pulaski? Mm -hmm. I believe and so. Dodge. Yeah. Did you check Dodge? Yep. Did I? Um, and then you got Augusta area all over there. And then what is is that Coffee County? Yeah, I didn't. I actually okay. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Okay. So you got basically the northern part of the state. Middle Georgia. Uh-huh. In Middle Georgia. And then you have you have the Augusta area as well. Mm-hmm. So why do you think um what makes these people different from the ones that you identify from your own community? What makes the people in those the ones well, you checked off Atlanta, different from your community? Just, more advanced. More more advanced. Like as well. Okay. More, more advanced. advanced. And as well as the Augusta area. Okay. And Middle Georgia, I'm, I check those because I have seen solar panels. I haven't seen them on the rooftops. I think I've seen one or two, but uh -huh. I just don't pay much attention. But you've seen them on the ground. The yes. Ones, those, where are you seeing them at? Those ones that's Twig on the ground? Twig County, mm -hmm. um, out on Old Richland Church Road. What are they doing with those solar panels? Do you know by chance? Um... Is it something? I don't know, no. no, okay. But it's a lot of land with a lot of solar panels. It's okay. Out, it's, out, it's near Brandy's house. Okay. And then Lawrence County, the um, Dublin school uses them. They have them set and up. I think it's Dublin, yeah. Do you know what they're doing with those? Using them to power the school. Really? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Okay, how does that work? Do you know how that's working for them? I have no idea. I just throw it out in the front. Wow. So they don't have electricity. They're using solar panels. I guess not. I don't know if they have backup electricity or what, but they do have solar panels out there. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. So what would be, I guess, so compared, so what would be the reasoning for the people here in Blakely? Why do you think they wouldn't have the solar panels? Same thing? Yeah. They're just not educated. Mm -hmm. Not educated enough. Compared to those counties, mm -hmm. okay. People gotta come to you. They they don't really. Oh. A lot of people don't look into stuff. Okay. Not all of them, but. Some of them, at yeah. least. Okay, and then uh, does any of your friends in the state of Georgia have solar on their roof? They do not. Why do you think they don't? Uh, well, I'm younger, and a lot of my friends are younger and haven't really. Mm -hmm. Started. Yeah. Building and stuff, but they just don't. I guess it's just so much easier just to get a contract with the. Just to have George Power or Old Muggy EMC or O'Connor mm -hmm. just to come hook it up. That's just the easy way out, I guess. Well, anything else you like that? No. I mean, I think it's something great. I think it could be great for people to. Learn more about and do it. You think if we had any program through Extension that the people in your community would come? Talking about solar, whether it's for their house or their business. If you could, on the flyers, explain that it could benefit them, yes. Okay. You just say, webinar or a uh, program about solar panels, come mm -hmm. they won't. But if you could, like, somehow on the flyer put that it can benefit them, I think they would. Okay. Well, that's good enough. You know.